Welcome back to 25 Readings in Advent. Today is day number six, and we're going to look at Isaiah 61. Since it's the first week of Advent, we have relit the first candle, which is purple, and it's a prophecy candle, or the candle of hope. So let's read another prophecy from Isaiah. Isaiah 61, starting at verse 10. I delight greatly in the Lord. My soul rejoices in my God, for he has clothed me with garments of salvation and arrayed me in a robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom adores his head like a priest, and as a bride adorns herself with jewels, so the soil makes the sprout come up, and a garden causes seeds to grow, so the sovereign Lord will make righteousness and praise spring up before all nations. I love this commentary by Tony Evans. Let's read this. The Lord's servant Messiah will give praise to God for his luxurious garments of salvation and his robe of righteousness. Endowed with these, he will accomplish God's purposes for Israel and for the world. Therefore, God will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all the nations. And when Jesus was born, boy, didn't praise spring up. I mean, there was praising everywhere. They were so excited to know that the Savior was born. And once again, God had a plan. He knew that we were sinful people and that he had a plan to send the Savior. And he knew this hundreds of years ago. So I'm just so glad that God has a plan for you and for me. And I hope you enjoyed this next verse that we have, another prophecy. And come back again tomorrow for day number seven of 25 readings in Advent. And remember what Advent means? It means coming or arrival. And all this week, we are just waiting for Jesus to come again, right, that we celebrate at Christmas time. But remember, we're also waiting for his second coming. So I hope that you know him so that he, when he comes again, you are ready. Have a great day thinking about all this and we'll see you tomorrow. Yes, we will. And I would love to answer any question you have about Advent or the Christmas story or how to put your faith in Jesus. Just contact me through my website, Nancy Joy to You, or email me at nancyjoytoyou at gmail.com. I hope you have a blessed Advent, receiving His love and shining His light back out for everyone around.